Hi everyone, welcome back to CJD Networking. I'm Chris Stevey and today I'm going to show you how to subnet anything in under a minute. Uh, we're going to use a method called the Enhanced Bob Maneuver. It's a simple chart. Uh, we can commit this to memory. Uh, we can take it into an exam with us. Um, as long as we don't bring it into the exam, we can write it out in our notes. Um, it's um, a little chart um, that um, was uh, invented by a guy called Bob um, and uh, his students then enhanced it to make the enhanced Bob maneuver. So let's get cracking and create this chart. So first of all, we're going to just write some numbers from eight down to one. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go back the other way, uh, but doubling each time. So one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. Uh, we're going to put uh, our subnet mask numbers at the top. So we're going to go from 192, 224, These numbers here, apart from these and zero, you won't see any other number on a subnet mask. Uh, these you should try and commit to memory as well. So we're going to put up here our mask. We're going to put here our target number. Um, we are going to put the next number here is our sorry, number. We're going to put our next number here is our bit place. Uh, and then lastly at the bottom, we are going to put our number of valid subnets. Uh, on this one, we are going to look at our target number and take two off of that number. So this one will be 126, so it's that number, and then this one, 62, so it's that number minus 2, 30, and so on. So we're going to go 14, we're going to go 6, and lastly, this one is 4, and this one's nothing. Um, I'm going to just put a line on here as well, you don't need to put this line, but uh, just to finish it off, uh, this is known as the high order line and uh, you change direction once you cross this line uh, which i'll explain shortly so now we've got our chart uh, we're going to subnet 192.168.0.0 this um, network we are going to split into nine subnets so first of all uh, we look at our valid subnet so nine subnets we look at this line here valid subnets and we see how many subnets we can fit in this number so four is too small six is too small for nine but nine will fit into 14 comfortably so we are going to go with 14 we move up across the line to four to get our bit place now we've got four we then go to our target number and we go one two three four so it's the fourth number along uh, and we get 16 so 16 is the increments of our networks and 240 is our subnet mask so our subnet mask will be 255.255.255.240 we now fill up our subnets 192.168.0.0 for our first subnet 192.168.0.16 and so on so let's fill this down uh, and let's increment this number by 16 so we will do um, uh, that number equals j20 plus 16 and we're going to duplicate that all the way down um, and we're going to keep going and we will keep going until we get to no bigger than 255 so this one's 256 uh, we'll take away these and we are left with these numbers here so these are our networks uh, traditionally uh, the first and last ones uh, we wouldn't have as valid subnets so the first one uh, is a uh, a zero subnet and the top one isn't known as all but one subnet uh, but uh, we can ignore that now because we can just use those so um, as long as your router doesn't have no IP subnet zero command enabled um, all modern routers will allow you to use this subnet so uh, let's take 
a subnet then. So let's take this one here. Uh, so our subnet is 192.168.0.112. The broadcast address for that is the number before the next one. So which is so 128 is the next subnet along, so 127. So our broadcast is um, 192.168.0.127, which means any number in between, which is our hosts, which is uh, 192.168.0.113 to 126 are our hosts. And that's how to get um, the subnets uh, from the Enhanced Bob Maneuver. Um, I'm keeping this video short. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.